Hello, hi, my dear loving viewers. Hope you all must be doing really fit, fine, and healthy. And um, um, those who are not doing fine and uh, they might be in some sort of illness and trouble, may Lord Almighty uh, grant you with complete health and uh, just diminish all your pessimism and tension and problems. So I was all just thinking about what to come with you with the uh, new uh, so I just but about to share my skincare, daily skincare regime with you all in this video. So uh, we all ladies, you know, are very much uh, conscious while about our skin and uh, when it comes to choosing a very good product. So we all become confused because there today there are so many brands and they all, all the brands are uh, claiming for their best efficacy results. And to adopt uh, these best products that suit and are uh, very much effective for our skin is a very challenging task for all of us. So uh, that's you not more that you have to do, you have to look at. You just have to see your uh, skin type and the product that suits you for the first time, you have to then keep going on with that product subsequently. So... Uh, I'm bringing a very simple daily task, uh, skincare task for you all. Uh, so because we all know that we all are leading a very stressful and hectic life, and we can hardly fi find uh, time to even take care of our skin so perfectly, so as to um, get a very classic glowing and uh, delicate, fair looking skin. So good skin doesn't only mean that you have a fair complexion. So first of all, we all should be aware of the fact that what skin type we have. Skin types are actually categorized into four types. That is normal skin, com uh, oily skin, combination skin, uh, dry skin, and sen sensitive skin. And that gives out five. So uh, now I'm going to tell you that how to select and use products more effectively uh, to make your skin look more glowing and more healthier and more clean, clean and uh, glassy going, in fact. The first step to this all procedure of my skincare is most probably cleansing. My most uh, favorite and I think uh, economical based uh, products are that of L'Oreal, Nivea, Aveline and uh, Neutrogena, most probably. So starting starting with cleansing, this is my cleanser, and it's L'Oreal cleanser, which has uh, I think it has a uh, uh, it is uh, totally for a dry and sensitive skin because I have a very sensitive skin and a dry one. So it has milk in it and it has a hyaluronic acid that is very much essential for a sensitive skin. And um, I think we all should make it a habit to cleanse our skin properly and thoroughly uh, before at morning and be before going to bed. Use a gentle cleanser. It's not necessary that uh, the brands I've mentioned. It's uh, essential for all you to buy. Or so our cleansing routine is like uh, we use it. Uh, we use our cleanser in this circular motion, right? And we go like this, with like this, and we have like steps like these, right? And when we come here, we have steps like these. We move or we take this hand from above and we keep moving this hand from downwards to upwards. That's the best way of cleansing, scrubbing, and um, washing your face. So next comes, after my cleanser, comes uh, this uh, facial gel wash. With its, uh, of, it's, in, it's a product of Evelyn. Again, my favorite one, and uh, it has three. It's uh, the best one for those who are very much conscious about the budget for those ladies uh, because it has a, fa a facial wash. It can be used as a facial wash. It, it can be used as a scrub also, and it's a multi-dimensional uh, product of Evelyn, a very good one. And those who have uh, an oily skin or an acne-prone skin. Uh, be sure you uh, 
opt for the products which contain salicylic acid because it is the best uh, ingredient that fights all your oil and dirt uh, inside the blood cells of your skin. So go for that and uh, if you have a uh, very, uh, very much sensitive type of skin, uh, do please choose your products more uh, when we, more effectively and uh, clean your skin thoroughly and use a face wash I, I would suggest I don't know whether all you ladies do that but I usually when I do my cleansing thoroughly I usually use this face wash after so you please make it a habit uh, to uh, use a face wash after your daily cleansing routine second uh, comes my um, scrub and I usually use this uh, Neutrogena scrub, this one. Uh, usually my products, you can, I hope you all can see that, it's uh, a bit reflection here, it's most clear here, right? It's, uh, right. so it's uh, my, uh, it's product, uh, it's a daily exfoliator with grape, pink grapefruit and uh, it purifies for a clear and healthy looking skin. It purifies, and it's specially designed for blemish prone skin. It has a speciality that uh, if you have blemishes on your skin, it even removes that entirely. If you use it very much, like uh, it, our cleansing routine should be like, it's wash your face thoroughly with a cool icy water and uh, then see the effects of your cleansing. Okay, then mostly happens that cleansing so much and rubbing your skin so much uh, mostly and definitely opens up all the pores of your skin. So that is toner which tightens the pores and it uh, cleanses the leftover impurities and dirt or makeup um, from our skin. So it should be used according to me. A toner must be used religious wise daily because it is very worthwhile for your skin. It cleanses the skin from deep within and um, it's, especially its liquid's consistency is uh, so light that it gets easily absorbed into your skin, deep cells, pores and uh, you can even apply it with, uh, simply apply it with your tap, tapping with your fingers like this or you can use a cotton ball or a... This one is again is of uh, Evelyn and it's a uh, thing there's too much reflection of light here. I must be doing another video to, just to show you the products and not to say anything. It's uh, a toner that uh, uh, gives the guarantees that tightens the pores and just within few months of its use you have you might see that your pores are lightened and uh, entirely reduced like they are nothing, like you have no pores inside your skin or over your skin at all. So do opt for this if you all are looking for um, for the very best one, that's the Evelyn. And uh, it purifies and mattifies your skin against all imperfections that can be, whether you have an oily skin, an acne prone skin, uh, sensitive skin, it, it, it is suitable for this one is my rose water, ladies, and if gents are interested also. So rose water, I think it's very natural. One is rose water and the other is my aloe vera gel. I think these two, if you keep it in your fridge daily and just wash your face with, uh, just, with a, just rinse your face with simple water, icy cold water, and then use the spray. It's a very, I think it gives me a refreshing uh, feeling from inside this rose water and the aloe vera here. I often keep this aloe vera in uh, a spray bottle like this of rose water and I feel so rejuvenating and so refreshing. And thirdly, now what's uh, what comes after the deep cleansing and toning is your moisturization. Okay, now we have cleansed our skin but mostly most ladies adopt this uh, 
I mean, they do ignore this step of moisturization, but it is really much, very much necessary for us to use a moisturizer, a very light moisturizer that should not be heavyweight because uh, we already have, are being uh, dwelling in very humid areas. And we are, again, we, if we use uh, heavy moisturizing, moisturizers, they might give us a feeling of like oily skin and uh, we might have... Uh, acne and blemishes due to the uh, weather and due to dehydrations. So please, when you, uh, when we all are, so it's very much uh, essential to use a moisturizer to keep your skin rehydrated again and again. And uh, let me show you this is my L'Oreal moisturizing cream which I mostly keep for like days that are very much uh, humid and um, dehydrated. And this one is my Dove Secret Moisturizer for my hands and for all over my body. And uh, now comes the serum. It's very, uh, more, uh, now uh, we are a serum based um, generation. We have much already good serums in our, um, when we go into our cosmetic shops. Uh, so we all have, uh, normally have serums, good serums in our dressings. And uh, we should have. Serums actually are designed basically to hydrate into your skin follicles because they contain nutrients, and uh, ingredients such as hydrators, uplifting, uplifters, and anti-aging oxidants that deeply penetrate into your skin because serums are so liquid and so watery. They even target your skin issues like acne, blemishes, and uh, wrinkles, dry skin, and many other problems related to your skin, especially the serums I might like to show you. This is my Eveline that says it's a whitening serum. I don't usually use it for whitening. I just use it just for a glowing glassy looking effect. Viewers and ladies. And this one, the Ordinary. It targets and it uh, just this serum, the Ordinary Serum. It's my most favorite one. It's a very light one and it's it just sinks into your skin like uh, really fresh. so it promises it has uh, made its target and goals to give you a um, blemish free skin no acne it's uh, an acne uh, antagonist and it reduces all your uh, skin allergies irritation type problems if you especially uh, apply it twice in the morning once after cleansing and once at night after cleansing. So be sure to apply serums to give you a healthy looking fresh skin again. Now you was, after all this, don't forget about your eye cream and about your lip balm. Because you see, this eye area, it's the most sensitive and delicate part of us. And our eyes are the ones that reflect everything, that reflect we are tired, that reflect that we are not uh, feeling happy if uh, we even pretend fake uh, that we are and we don't have any like sufferings in that hole but uh, it's our uh, eyes that uh, reflect that something is internally uh, going wrong inside us we are not healthy we are feeling down we are, we are feeling like tired exhausted so please don't forget to use this eye cream Evelyn again it's the eye cream. It's uh, being designed for your eyes puffiness and our dark eye circles. So you can opt for anyone you like. It's not necessary. It's Vince, again, a very good product. Just flipped into my mind while making my video. So uh, you can use anything, but do keep it a habit to use this morning and at night, especially when your skin is thoroughly cleansed and. You can also use uh, uh, cucumber slices that uh, must be kept into your refrigerator for about half an hour um, on your eyes and take tea breaths that uh, give 
gives your eyes a fresh look if you have to go somewhere instantly, right? Like in a party or in an, or on an occasion. Then um, comes our spot treatment. That is our spot or acne treatment. So I basically use uh, these ones. This is the ecodermal. That's for the one that's the acne treatment. I always use this TCM mark, spot mark gel. And it's uh, both these ingredients are for acne and for, and for your spots or any blemishes or marks that are left because of any irritation or any impurities. So I think uh, the best uh, time to apply your skin, acne um, and spot treatment products uh, during nighttime because when we sleep, our skin's rejuvenating cells work are working so superly hard uh, throughout uh, as they are not working throughout the day because we are facing um, heat. We are, our uh, skin is ex uh, is uh, an exposure to everything that is around us. That is dirt. That is heat. That is um, like anything. It might be like anything that is not uh, healthy for your skin and especially stress again again it comes i keep repeating don't be stressful don't take stress onto your nerves so it reflects your skin's uh, regrowing and being healthier a lot so uh, it's night time that you apply these spot treatments and Please don't forget to apply a sunblock if you're going uh, out there in sun. And uh, uh, sunblocks are, um, again, they are medically designed and they are being formatted according to your skin type. So choose the best one for you. Here I have Revage, that's uh, Revage UK, that is the uh, says that is water, water resistant, anti dark spot, patents anti-darkening so it light it protects you from all the harmful uv rays that are affecting your skin's cells it's rejuvenating cells and, all right so i just forgot to tell you about all about my face mask um, both are of, are of uh, the revage uk uh, cosmetics and uh, this one is whitening gold face facial mask and it is uh, it is, it uh, again uh, targets, it's anti wrinkle, it's anti toxin, it's anti acne. It's a peel of mask, but I've just tried, I just use it once in a month and I have excellent results. Besides, I have to go in, in any occasions, and this one is the Vajuk Black Hair Remover, which I basically use only at my nose when I see some uh, open pores on my nose. And uh, it's uh, like, uh, to give a fresh looking, uh, fresh look to your skin. Okay, viewers and ladies. So it's just not externally that, that we have to apply things and take care of our skin. It's also that internally, because whatever we are eating and drinking throughout the skin uh, throughout the day is um, affecting our skin again, and. Um, if we are in great stress, you must look like if you just see the mirror when you are in extreme stress and you're just doing your like, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to complete so many pools, you are that this task, that task, guests are there and you, your tasks are not completed and uh, that all affects your skin a lot, believe me. If uh, you just keep yourself calm, cool, uh, especially cool-minded also, not just uh, looking calm. Uh, it uh, affects a lot on your skin, especially on ladies' skin, because we ladies are hypersensitive and everything. So we are hyper. We have hypersensitive skin than men. We have more uh, skin problems as compared to gents. So do focus on maximum liquid intake, and that liquid intake doesn't involve any sort of drinks uh, or juices or cola or um, these. Uh, can juices it includes a lot of water as much as you can drink water water has no side effects and fresh juices that are seasonal especially uh, include them in your daily routine and uh, then um, go for uh, fresh foods in your diet 
more fresh fruits and more uh, vegetables and uh, take a lot of protein in your diet because that is more essential for you. Your skin needs that to um, keep itself healthier. And just like your body needs uh, to keep yourself healthier, the skin also needs proteins to keep yourself healthier. Take less carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are not that necessary for our health uh, and for our spine, these prayers. So it uh, starts uh, circulating blood from our heart to all the blood vessels of our body, uh, uh, to your skin, to your brain, and again going down and again going up and down and up and down. So prayers are the best ones for your uh, best skin health and for making your skin looking more healthier for um, like around 50s or 60s or maybe 70s even, right? Believe me, it's magical. And uh, love your skin. Don't... Uh, when you feel yourself like in too much uh, tension and in too much havoc, just take deep breaths and um, to relieve your stresses. Uh, take a warm, re relaxing bath. Um, doing exercises again like yoga, aerobics meditation or a light walk um, in a very cool place uh, where there's no diversion of your um, thoughts at all. Just, you just have to take a simple, rough uh, sort of walk and uh, I think that helps a lot for your skin. And uh, again, for me, my prayers. Don't forget your prayers because they again, I think, I believe a lot. Uh, they are, because when we are praying, when we Muslims are praying, we are, when we go into the uh, ruku, we go into the sajda, everything that Allah has created, our Lord has take care of it, no matter how whatsoever is going on in your life, how stressed or distressed or depressed you are, don't forget to love your skin and to take care of it because everything we possess, everything we owe is a gift of our almighty Lord to us. So we have to take care of everything just focusing on the, on the point that it is our God's gift to us. So this is I think very much for our skin care routine today. And uh, please viewers, there's a request to all of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel uh, wherever you can. Because and do give me suggestions, whatever there is in your mind to have me improve myself and my videos looking much more professional, right? So, um, so it's time to say you goodbye and do take care of yourself, your skin, and everyone around you. Uh, try to love everything that God has provided with you. It was just simply skin care today, but I think we should love everything and everyone and don't. Again, negative feelings and emotions because everything reflects on your skin and your skin is a pure reflection. What is going externally inside you? Okay, and uh, stay tuned and stay glamorous, stay more beautiful, my all my beautiful viewers, and please don't again don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.